I used to think the Achilles tendon was only that big, but in reality, it is this big. In fact, it goes up nearly half or more the length of your entire calf. This is the strongest tendon in the human body. So I want to talk about the different types of intestines you have. You have small intestine, which is all about nutrient absorption, and then you also have large intestine, which is a little hard to see, but that's what this thing is here. You see the large intestine is going to border your small intestine. I can kind of show you a bit of it here. And the large intestine or colon is where you store feces. So your small intestines will absorb nutrients and then whatever waste you have gets deposited into your large intestine and it can take days for it to make its way around until it finally is going to leave. You see this is called your sigmoid colon and it turns into the rectum. So the difference is the small intestine is about nutrient absorption, but your large intestine or colon is about feces storing and water removal. Let's talk about this thing right here called an intervertebral disc. You see, this is a cushion that separates these two vertebrae or backbones. And so you can kind of picture as you're moving, these two bones would want to slam into one another, but this is preventing that. Now, with this particular cadaver, we have something interesting as we move in the more cranial direction, and we notice they start to thin out and almost outright disappear. And that's because this cadaver had degenerated discs. Now, that happens due to a lot of reasons, but still, as you look at it, you can tell that they are very different than and even these ones up here in the cervical region. What I have here is a real human vertebra or backbone. Now this comes from the thoracic region or where your ribs would be located, but I wanna talk about one of the most important functions of vertebrae and that's to protect your spinal cord. If we pretend my finger is your spinal cord, you can see that it has this bony protection that goes around it. So not only do bones support weight, just as this vertebra does, but it also acts as a protector for neurological tissue. So cool. So what you're looking at here is the back of the thigh, and these are the hamstrings. You see the hamstrings are really three muscles. We have biceps femoris, semitendinosus, and semimembranosus. But what's kind of cool is if I push them in like this, something emerges from behind them. And this is the sciatic nerve. You see the sciatic nerve is really two nerves bundled together. But what happens is it normally splits down here in the knee. But the sciatic nerve is hiding behind your hamstrings. What you're looking at is the knee. We see the patella, the quadriceps tendon, the patellar ligament, but what's really cool, watch this, is wild. I cut this so I can reflect it back. Now that pink stuff, that happens occasionally as the embalming process interacts with the soft tissue, but you can see the posterior aspect of the patella as well as this smooth surface of the femur that the patella would glide on as you are flexing and extending your knee. But this is what your knee looks like on the inside.